Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play of Crusader Kings 2 uh, as the Emperor of the Chada Kingdom. We are getting a little old, uh, but you know, hey, uh, I guess we're still hanging tough. So, <laughs> we have uh, we even took the business focus to try to speed his death along, and he is not to be deterred. Maybe it's his beard, so let's give him a little haircut. Um, maybe he, Maybe if we cut his beard... Yeah, that looks good. Can we give him a hairstyle too? Yeah, give him a mullet. Yeah, there you go. Maybe that'll help him because his wife surely will not like the mullet and she will complain very much about the mullet which will make him depressed and in turn hopefully he will die. Death by mullet. Okay, so what's happening here is uh, we're chasing down this the, rem the remnants of uh, the holy order that he hired. We're sieging out Vingapura and we've got our own personal troops massing here to come in from this direction because we were thinking you know he is allied to both of these uh, kingdoms here we were thinking he would probably call in one or the other we were hoping he wouldn't but uh, we were thinking he might so so far he has not but that doesn't mean that he won't I didn't think to check and see if they if they have any wars going are we gonna be able to catch them surely okay Surely. Surely. Alright. And what's this? Call to arms from uh, Rashtrakuta. What is this? Uh, call to arms against Maharaja Virapaksha of Rashtrakuta Kingdom. So he is going to war with this guy. Uh, what are you trying to do? War over Nan Nanded? Uh, declining costs... Actually, we want this guy on our side, so we're going to accept. You know, why not? We already have our troops raised. And uh, we know that we might be going to war with these guys pretty quickly anyways. We won't get a truce out of this, I don't think. If we do, no big deal. This is already at 99%. He might even take peace right now. No. <laughs> He's losing, but he won't give up. He's all, you know what? I'm about to die, but I ain't giving up. Um, so basically this is just a free pass for us to beat the hell out of these guys. I'm down. Let's go ahead and move these guys into Mandapika. Maybe go to Mandapika as well. And what we'll probably do with this group is we'll just carpet siege these four counties up here. Then after we get this war done, we'll probably use these guys to carpet siege through here. And this shouldn't take very much longer. Oh no, what's he's gonna siege? Oh no. It's terrible. Oh, why am I just leaving these guys here? That's dumb. Move them back over. Okay. Are you in Mandapika? You are. We need 20. Wow! That's a hell of a garrison. Um. Jeez Louise. Okay, well, uh, where do we want to send these guys? Maybe to Asigar. Yeah, that sounds good. God, that's a pretty beefy garrison, I gotta admit. Props. Much props on the crops, brother. I guess it's a good thing that we saved up some money, but we aren't losing a bunch. So okay, this is uh, apparently over. So now this belongs to us. Beautiful. And we can roll these troops into here now. What we might do is we might just climb over this uh, fence here, this little wall, and just smash them. Let's move everybody here. All right, what do we got? What do we need here in Thalner? About 1700. So we're not going to have enough. Well, what do we need here? Okay, not so much. So let's. Uh, I think we need more than that. How about this? That works. Send you here. And send you here. Yes, very good. And then let's send the other 500 to Asagar. Excellent. 
Once these guys all get all together, we're gonna just probably go over here, smash up this army, and then spread out right here. Yeah, might as well just do it now. We have 7,000 troops. Let's go to Kambampet. Oh yeah, so we gotta get these screws up here to actually siege that out, that's fine. I wonder why these guys aren't conning hostile to us. It's strange. Okay, go. You here. Okay, so it is jungle, but we outnumber them about 10 to 1. Okay, excellent. So we don't need that many. We only need, what is this? About 500. So let's make a new unit here. That looks pretty good. Send you there. You need more. Not much more. So let's break off that much to there. Sounds good. How many troops do you actually have, bruh? Uh, about 2,000. I, I don't know why he hasn't... Oh, he might not hire the Holy Order because they might not be <laughs> available. Because he hired them and we crushed them. And we, we heard the lamentations of their women. Okay. So we got these two sieges going. We need 1,300 there. Probably leave a big, big stack... What do we need in the lore? 800. Okay, that's good. And this, about 1500. So, that's good. And Palanda, I think we're good there. We'll just say, you know, I think sieging out seven counties at a time is enough. Should speed the war along along fairly well. Actually, I kind of want to grab this guy now. Can we can we come down there and grab you? Ah, sweet. So we're going to kill a little bit. I don't think all of those we're going to go fight. I think we're only going to be able to fight a few of them, but still, because I think his number the number is artificially inflated by that neutral unit. No, we actually got to fight all of them. Hmm. Okay. Now I'm going to move you back up here. No, no, no. You here. Yes. Very good. Very good. Let's zoom out a little bit. So he has a bigger stack here. Hmm. Where are you going? I don't know. I doubt they're coming to engage us, but if they do, then we have enough enough you know troops clustered around where I don't think it's going to be a that hard to reinforce. I wish he would try to come at us. Come at me, bro. So it looks like where is he going? Cigar. I don't know what he's. Is he going to try to come up here and? Uh, Get get busy with them. Maybe he's definitely consolidating. Hmm. He could be coming over here. Couldn't blame him. If he does, then we'll just reinforce over this direction. Okay. Ooh. Really. Uh, you got a war going with Telangana. I see. Huh. So you're gonna come in and reinforce, huh? We could have probably jumped, uh, jumped in on that, but I really didn't think about it until it was too late.
All right, so we've got some sieges that are about to start rolling up on this guy. All right, where are you going now? He might be trying to to get the Telangana War finished, maybe. Okay, cool. So let's see what we get. We got economy. All right, that's cool. We could probably go to speed three. Yeah, it looks like he went straight for the Telangana group. All right, now the sieges are starting to end. Okay, where are you going? Latalura, which is where? Hmm? Oh, here. Okay, I didn't see the border there. You'll be there on what? When will you be there? Give me an ETA. The 12th. Now he's going to Vatsugalma. Here. I wonder if he's going to come up here and try to unseige that. Okay. Granddaughter. Granddaughter. Must be... Uh, oh! I'll do it myself. And grandson. Don't have any more room. Let's do... Yeah. It'll be good for him. It'll build some character to have him have to do that. Okay, so that siege is finished. Good. 26%. Yeah, it looks like he is going to come up here and try to unseige that. I don't think he would be foolish enough to attack into this unit or this unit because they don't have the numbers. But I have seen the computer do some pretty wonky stuff. If he wants to try to unseach that, I'm 100% a okay with that. Because uh, in the time that it takes him to unseach one thing, we're going to have sieged out many, many more things than that. So it's like uh, trying to push a snowball up a hill. Or push many snowballs up a hill. Okay, so we dra dragged somebody out of a hole. You know what? Wow, look at all these prisoners we have. Yeah, let's start ransoming some prisoners. Get some money. Yeah, we did lose a little bit of war score off of that, but I'd rather have the money. So he is building up a quite a stack there. What is this? Okay, so here we have a claim now. Yeah, we're definitely gonna. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Hopefully, we survive this war so that we can get and press that claim and take that land. Okay, can we move you somewhere? Where would we like to move you? Let's start fabricating some claims down here. Like right there. Actually, Telangana would have made more sense. We want to fabricate claims in places that we don't think that we're ever gonna want to do a subjugation CB. Wow, lots of people worth 46 gold. This guy had a lot of money. Okay. Thank you, you're you're actually paying for my claim that I just fabricated. Harihara Rashtrakuta. Meanwhile, he's just getting his clock clean down here. Okay, that's completely sieged out. So, how much do we need here? Nope, we couldn't siege that. Let's move you guys to Nalor. Yeah. Okay. How many more? Wow. 46 more. Wow, I'm glad this guy was so prolific. He's lining my pockets. Okay, what's this? Marriage. My vassal wants to marry my granddaughter. Again, same thing, alright? Decline. No. Okay, more sieges. Three sieges. Was that three sieges? I think it was. Four sieges. 
Okay, so that one is completely done now. Um, maybe we just leave them there and hope that they attack into it? This one's completely done. He's he's wiggling a little bit. I don't know what he's thinking. Okay. Okay, so now we're to the tin gold. Still, we've made a lot of money off that. Oh, now he's moving, but he's moving back to the south, it looks like. Huh. Wonder what he's gonna do. And I wonder why these guys are not, like I said, I don't know why they're not conning red to us. But you know what I'm going to do? Move you there. Move you there. And we'll just retake it. Eighty-five uh, percent. I think once this round gets done here, we've got three that are four that are about to be done. I think maybe the war will end. Maybe. We have anybody else we can ransom? Oh my God! Yes. All of these delicious ransoms. I love it. Ooh, 46 gold. Gimme, gimme. This guy must have a gold mine or something because, damn, we are just like taking him for everything. Taking him to the cleaners. And. He, this guy should totally send us a fruit basket for helping him in this war because we pretty much won it for him. Okay, when are you gonna when are you gonna call it? It's one hundred percent dog. Any others? He might not be able to afford anything. He might be flat, friggin' broke. No, he's still got money. Okay, there it went. So Nanded now belongs to them. Good. Okay, yep, okay. Back to ransoming. <laughs> Alright, let's move our troops back up here. Move you guys back up here. Good stuff, good stuff. So how strong are you now, Rastrakuta? Because uh, I might be about to uh, pound your face. Maybe. This, he's still got 5,000 troops. Still. He's also still in wars, too. Hmm. Alright, well. Maybe I won't pound his face. Just yet. I'd like to. So, like, I think we actually netted a profit going to that war. Because of all the ransoming we just got to do. Mayor Dopali Dio approaches you and presents to you a request to buy a small plot of your land in Dombalpur. It's a grievous decision for you since he promises to pay well. So, if we take the gold, which is 150 gold, which is nothing to sneeze at, we lose prestige and uh, we get less castle tax in that town for uh, 10 years. And uh, if we do this, you know, basically we just get to uh, keep our prestige, I guess. I'm going to take the gold. And then I think we, it is time for us to go ahead and invest a little bit more into our country, into our empire here. So let's see, what can we do? We'll go do a barracks. Or do you do barracks here? We did. Barracks here, we did. Okay, what about here? We did. I'm looking at the 140 barracks, not the 170. 
Okay. That's good. So we got two more things going. Excellent. Okay, ever since your pursuit of wealth began, you started keeping close eye on both income and expenses. Your coffers seem to be filled to the brim more often than not. So this is a random event that gives us uh, the aspiring trader uh, you know, title, and we get plus one stewardship. So cool. Good stuff. Whoa! Whoa! So... What just happened there was, um, looked like he released him. No, no, he's revolting. Hey, man, I'm fine with that. Well, kind of. I'm kind of fine with it. I'm kind of not because we'd kind of like him to stay together so we can subjugate him. But at the same time, eh, you know, whatever. It's, it's... It's going to happen regardless. You know, it's just a matter of time and how it happens. So, you know, you will get taken over. Yeah, we don't want to disband our retinues. So, Lamba, Lamba Vadi. Several assassinations and loans later. I don't know if I'm still able to trust anyone. So, we're going to lose trusting, which, you know, I, I, get, I think I'm actually okay with that. Trusting is not necessarily a good trait. I think all of this, no, 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 not all of this is retinue. That's our retinue, 6772. So we have a claim here now. We might as well just, uh, who are your allies? Wow, okay. Ironside, love it, love it. Well, brother, I'm sorry, but uh, your, your stuff belongs to us. So we're just going to roll over you pretty much. All right. We'll do that in the next episode. So, um, yeah, it's 9.36. Things are moving right along. You know, we're kind of waiting on this guy to die, but I'm, I'm glad that he's not dead yet because we're getting to push this claim. Could be some pretty interesting things happening down here because, um, yeah, if they're successful in breaking off, it's really going to make them weak. So, the only bad part, like I said, was... We were, we were thinking, you know, subjugation. We would have been able to take all of this in one fell swoop, but... Eh. Might slow us down a little bit, but it won't be that bad. Alright, guys. Thank you so much for joining me, and until next time, game on.